Figure two is here. Let's watch the demo video and then I'm going to tell you about it. So that was the figure two robot. It is the newest generation of humanoid robots by the company figure. It has a ton of new innovations. And by this point, you should be convinced that we're gonna have millions of humanoid robots in the not too distant future. So let me tell you about this robot now. Figure just made the announcements today and they released a bunch of new information about the robot. So our engineering and design teams completed a ground up hardware and software redesign to achieve figure O2. Technical advancements were made in critical technologies, including AI, computer vision, batteries, electronic sensors, and actuators. Now, the biggest obvious difference in this robot as compared to figure 01 is that this looks a lot sleeker, a lot more futuristic, and looks almost production ready. First, speech to text, capable of conversations with humans through onboard mics and speakers connected to custom AI models. So basically they're leveraging large language models to actually be the interface between humans and the robot. So no longer are you going to have to program a robot manually like basically every other robot out there. You're simply going to talk to it, tell it what you wanna do, and then it's gonna do that. And it can actually respond to you. It has six onboard RGB cameras now, which allow it to have a vision system. And the way that figure O2 works is, I'm guessing the same as figure O1 works, it's all one neural net meaning it's all artificial intelligence running it, it's getting all of its inputs, all of its outputs are done through AI. And that means it's gonna be more efficient and better at following directions. Next are the hands. Now, many companies that are building robots say that the hands are the most difficult part. There are a ton of moving parts. It requires dexterity, accuracy, and it's just really hard to build a human hand. I read somewhere that 80% of the engineering of robots, of humanoid robots goes into the hands. So now they have the fourth generation hands with 16 degrees of freedom and human equivalent strength. So that is fantastic. And in the demo video, you saw that it was actually able to move parts around easily and had a lot of impressive movements with the hands, with the fingers. Next, it has an onboard VLM, which is a visual language model enabling fast common sense visual reasoning from robot cameras. So basically it's taking all of this input from the six RGB cameras. It's able to pipe that into its own model, into its own AI model, and then decide what to do with that output. And my guess is the output is a set of instructions for the robot to execute. It also has a vastly improved battery, 2.25 kilowatt custom battery pack in the robot torso delivers 50% more energy. And for comparison, a Tesla Model 3 has between a 60 and 82 kilowatt hour battery, which means Obviously, the car is much greater, but it's also much bigger. And apparently this battery is enough for five hours of usage. It has three times the computation and AI inference available on board compared to the previous generation, that's CPU and GPU power. Thank you to the sponsor of this portion of the video, Codium AI. Codium AI is a quality first generative coding AI platform, offering developers the tools they need for writing, testing, and reviewing code. Codium AI's code generation stems from its strong testing and verification capabilities, yielding code that is more robust with minimal issues. Developers can leverage the power of AI directly within their GITs and their IDEs, ensuring that the code that is generated actually works the way it should. The Codium AI platform includes Codium Mate, an IDE extension for code and test generation. 
and PR agent a Git plugin for enhancing and automated code reviews. Features include automated code analysis and assistance, contextual code suggestions, and comprehensive test generation, which as somebody who loves writing tests, I really appreciate. Powering the platform is a comprehensive integrity system built with advanced RAG capabilities and test-driven flow engineering to ensure contextual awareness and accuracy of generated code. They are just 16 months out of exiting Stealth and they already have 600,000 developers using their platform. So make sure to check out Codium AI. I'll drop links in the description below. Thanks again to Codium AI and now back to the video. So a couple stats about this robot and you can see this camera right here. It has a screen on its face, another camera, and I just love the design. I think it looks super futuristic, super cool. All of the innards of it are kind of hidden away now, which I really like. It's five foot six inches tall, which I believe is the average human height. It has a 20 kilogram payload, which is about 44 pounds. It weighs about 70 kilograms, which is about 150 pounds. So think about this, five, six, 150 pounds. That sounds like a pretty average human. Five hours of runtime, it can move at 1.2 meters per second, and it is fully electric. So all of this awesome innovation aside, why are humanoid robots becoming such a thing right now? Well, let's read figure AI's master plan. What is their big bold vision. The goal of figure to develop general purpose humanoids that make a positive impact on humanity and create a better life for future generations. These robots can eliminate the need for unsafe and undesirable jobs, ultimately allowing us to live happier, more purposeful lives. And think about this. We have Elon Musk with Tesla and the Optimus robot. We have figure AI. We have a handful of Chinese companies building humanoid robots. We have Boston Dynamics. All of these companies are making enormous progress in humanoid robots just in the last couple years since large language models became a much bigger thing. And the first place they're probably gonna end up is in factories doing dangerous jobs that humans shouldn't. But eventually we're going to have thousands and then hundreds of thousands, millions, potentially billions of robots that are working for us, doing manual jobs, helping around the house, helping the elderly, fixing things, basically anything. And so that's gonna take off of our plate all of the manual labor. And then we have artificial intelligence taking off of our plate all of the intelligent labor. So basically anything that requires thought. So it's kind of an interesting future to think about where humans don't necessarily have to do anything. And that's something that I'm thinking obviously a lot about. I wanna know what you think about that as well. So Figure says there are three opportunities for them with humanoid robots. First, physical labor. 50% of global GDP is human labor, $42 trillion worth, and they want to attack that market. Then consumer household, as we just talked about. They wanna put robots in the household. And then their huge, big, hairy, long-term vision off world. As humans expand and become interplanetary, robots are going to play a huge role in that, allowing us to explore and build at a much greater rate off planet. And just to give you a sense of the number of robots that they're planning, Corporate labor roles, three plus billion humans currently are doing that. Assisting individuals in the home, two plus billion. Caring for the elderly, one billion. And so they're really thinking about robots in the billions. And that is both amazing and a little bit scary, of course. So if you liked this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.